what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel I know I haven't posted in a little bit I've been pretty busy with tunes and trying to stay focused and trying to get some things together but I thought I just finished up this tune today and kind of wanted to continue the e-tune kind of doing like the whole e-tune process thing that I've been doing um, lately on the channel so I thought this would be pretty interesting to see um, considering that it's the new FA24 WRX. Now this is a 22 WRX on 93 octane with a Perrin intake system, uh, cat back exhaust, I'm not sure which brand or anything like that. Uh, it does have a charge pipe, I'm not sure the brand on that either. And the tune also comes with purple that we add at the end of the tunes. So it looks like we started this tune. Um, he probably got the base map. Let's see. Yeah, so he got the base map on June 3rd. Uh, and then I think, yeah, so he sent the, he went out and did the logs that I asked for on June 4th. Um, normally the base map you have to do an idle log, a driving log, a cruising log as if you're on the highway or whatnot, and a third gear um, watt pull from 2500 RPM up to 6400 RPM, you know, 100% throttle just to check everything out. Now normally the base maps that I send out uh, are this, pretty much the stock tune. Obviously, I had to make a little bit of adjustments, um, but not nothing crazy. And what we got on VD. Now, he didn't do a full pull, by the way. And it only comes and shows this part. He only did like half, and I think the log got cut off in the beginning. But we can see that it put the power numbers right around 258 the torque number is definitely wrong it should be a little bit higher so just to point that out uh, so after after he submitted that after I checked the VD on that um, we obviously made some changes on the next map which the next map was sent the next day around lunchtime and customer went back out did some um, we made probably we we probably made some changes to boost and possibly a little bit of timing I know normally the second map off of the base map is just kind of making the major changes compared to the stock map and kind of loading in my actual actual base map that I run on these cars with this parent and cat back is all set up and according to VD, if I open it correctly, so the first first base map, I think we added a little bit of boost because obviously we had a power jump, um, horsepower wise from 258 to 291, and then torque. Obviously, that's a little bit wrong. It should probably it, sh it should definitely be higher than that, but. Um, on the second base map, we got to 328. Now, we obviously went through and made some changes on this car um, after this map also, which, let's see, he got the second base map June 5th, um, and then an hour later, he sent that login. And then we had to wait until the next day, I think. I think Wednesday. Wednesday was the next day no actually same day so no he got a map later that night so two maps in one day and doom, 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 doom. I can't remember exactly what we changed on the next map we probably fine-tuned it a little bit more possibly added more timing maybe some more boost but I think the next log is this one right here and obviously we made a little bit more power across the whole band um, I'm 
most likely sure this is a, a little bit more boost on the car and yeah because we went from we can kind of take this out and just so we have a better comparison um horsepower didn't it didn't hit a peak horsepower like a better peak horsepower because obviously you see the screen line it makes a little bit more power at the top end this one kind of dropped um i think this one this log showed a little bit of knock but we had to increase power basically everywhere across the whole power band until this 6k and i know for a fact we raised boost on this one because normally they're sitting on a stage one car they're probably going to sit around like 340 350 torque obviously we can go higher than that this is just where i feel comfortable on a, a car that somebody's you know using as their main car and they don't want to push it that much so we definitely raised boost up on this map and let's see so he sent that back thursday and friday so this previous friday um i sent him a new revised map and he just sent us this one and i think if i remember correctly because i'm not looking at the logs I saw this little dip up here. I saw boost was good. So I think timing, I probably added a little bit more timing into the car. So I took some timing out because I probably did see some knock. And we got, yeah, so we got this blue line. So we'll take this away right here. So boost, for the most part stayed the same boost stayed the same um we did have a little more horsepower jump five more horsepower and torque basically stayed the same for the most part but it doesn't dip as much as it did before it's because we removed a little bit more timing from the top end um that just kind of just goes to show adding more timing there's a certain limit that you're gonna hit and you have to make sure you're gonna lose power if you go past MBT on pump gas so obviously us removing timing from the top end helped us make more power there could also be other things into play of it but I do remember that this red log data log three did have some knock up here and intake temps were pretty decent so um yeah we just gave the car what it wanted and we made a little bit more power now normally normally we see a little bit more horsepower the torque will probably stay the same normally we'll probably see like 315 ish possibly 320 sometimes normally this sits are right around 91 numbers this car is on 93 but it could just be bad 93 so from start to finish it took four including the final like the final map it took five maps to get this car done and we started it on june 4th so yeah, we started it last week and pretty much got done with it on Sunday because we don't really have to make any more changes to the car. Um, I checked the last log. Everything's perfect. There's no knock going on, things like that. So over a course of a couple days, the tune got done. Fairly, fairly simple setup to tune. Fairly easy. Um, these, these cars just make the power. I don't know if he has E85 near him. And then we can really, really wake up the car because these cars just love. It's just it's it's almost the same as the FA20. These cars just love ethanol, and they they'll last a little bit longer on ethanol too. And that's how they should just come from factory, just straight E85, and call it a day. Because this car will make a lot more power 
on E85. And my guess, stage one car, probably, you're probably going to try to keep the torque around the same. You could probably raise it up just a little bit more on like an E30 tune or E60 or E85 tune. Um, but power, depending on if it's an E30 or, you know, E85 tune, you're probably looking at like 340, 350-ish. Um on e e85 for sure e30 is a hit or miss but you're probably going to get around like three 330 340 ish um but yeah fairly quick and simple video i just wanted to show you guys almost kind of like the process and how each revision um you know allowed the car to make more power we started down here and each revision we made more power across the board and yeah so if you guys need a tune message me uh, Facebook email doesn't matter but I hope you guys enjoyed the video even though it was a short quick one simple very simple video but I appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys on the next one